welcome back to the final episode of a Trailblazer Reloaded. Still doing tasks, because we're here. Might as well. Starting off with... 59... 50? Herbivore? Herbivore? There we go. Catch Herbivore 50 times. So the count was there before that was. I don't know. 50. That's a hard task. Herbivore. And we're done here. Attack the tunnel for 50 million Hunter XP and 150 herbivores. Two elite tasks for a total of 400 points right there. This lining up the things at the same time is brought to you by this pile of black chinchampas I went and caught. Might throw those for range XP. I don't know. Next thing I want to do, down in this dungeon here, with the Dagonoths and all of them, I want to get all the pieces for all the armors. We got some spined and skeletal from the Dagonoth Kings, but we need more. We got the Pet Rock, which has a party hat on right now, which is fantastic. Open here, head inside. Fight a whole bunch of stuff. With all the drops collected and the Dekanoth hides that we got from Dekanoth Kings all that time ago, we can talk about rock crab armor. Make a helm. Yes. Talk about rock crab armor. Make some powerful body armor. Yes. Rock crab armor. We want the legs. Yes. Since this isn't a shop interface, I'm betting that that actually does cost coins. But we still have infinite coins, so that's not a problem. Did not have any of the rock shell set, but that's okay. Because now we do. Skeletal helm here with Pierre the Seer, and the skeletal body. Nice and cheap. Nice and easy. And lastly, we need to make a spined helm. All the drops here are 1 in 64, so it doesn't take too crazy long to get. There is the full Fremnic sets. Very appropriate for having the Fremnic area. And we do need the gloves and boots, obviously. Hard task complete. Full rock shell. Hard task complete, full spined, and hard task complete, full skeletal. Very cool. Very cool. Combining Production Prodigy, Goldsmithing Gauntlets, the closest furnace to a bank in the entire game, and 33,000 gold ore purchased from Jetitsum. It's time to do a little bit of smithing. 25 million smithing XP. Holy task, 200 points. This is like 10 million XP an hour. It's pretty good. 35 million smithing XP. Also an elite task. And 50 million smithing for another 200 points. Used up pretty much all the gold there. Worked. Very well. Good stuff. Good stuff. Points wise, also doing really good. Several cast dwarfs and logs later. We've got a few things here. I'm just gonna pile a bunch of treasure on the ground here from the muddy chest. Kill a lesser demon, just inadvertently. And there is 10 muddy chests opened for a hard task. And we're going to need one more inventory space here. Combine just a few more dragon darts for 35 million fletching XP. Elite task. 200 points. Not 
related whatsoever. Just the times I did it. There's a crash star over there. That's neat. Not worried about that, though. Not going to be going for 25 mil mining XP. Might poke it, though. Since it's here. Neat. We're the first person to find it. We get bonus stardust that we're never going to use. Amazing. Amazing. Now, let's do a bit of bossing. Our gear is never going to be getting better here. So we're taking this setup to the Leviathan. Got the Odin Ward, Ranger Boots, Missouri pieces. Not a bad range setup. The, the Rune Crossbow is a little bit unfortunate, but look at all that range accuracy. Should be great. And we also have the Web Weaver to spec at the end. So I'm sure that's going to just go perfectly. Range and Potion. Climb the handholds. Do some prayers. Have a good time. Attack the Leviathan. Here comes a magic attack. Oh boy. It starts off so nice and easy. Then everything just goes crazy. Range attack. And here comes a rock. Here comes faster attacks. Well, that's okay. Let's get a switch, 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 switch. Dodge. More attacks. Everything's okay. Oh, melee attacks are coming in now. Very cool. I think it's time for a shadow rush there. Run around the back. Do another attack. Nice big shot there. Oh, rocks are happening. And we need to get behind the rocks. Or just just don't. It's fine too. That's fine too. And now we're back to getting attacked. That's okay. Here comes a rock. Here comes a prayer. Dun, 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 dun. Melee attack, melee attack, melee attack. Let's do another stun here, or not. Ah, uh, oh, we, we need to stun while it's doing the barrage. So that's the problem. Oh, you didn't even switch. Great. Oh, here's the orb thingy. That's fun. Ow. Probably should keep attacking. And healing. And hoping. For the best. Ah, uh, that's dead. <laughs> okay, sure. Hey, dragon javelin heads. That's also nice. Whew. 80 points for that beautiful display. A bit less chaotically, in theory. Here is... Jad... Number three. Just gonna fight through the healers. Yep. Slightly slower than the last one. That's alright. Jad number four. And five jads. Along with a few other things. Complete the five caves five times. That's an elite task. Denying the healers too. For not letting the healers touch Jad by just Void Waker <laughs> specking when it was time for the healers to come out. And Fight Cave Master for another combat task. Combat tasks, not too important. There's more in the Fight Caves, but the one for not losing any prayer points ever sounds really annoying. So I'm not going to do that. But anyways, we defeated three Jads in a row. How about three jabs at the same time? Going with the range setup. 
Because, let's be honest, the Rune Halberd is not really the weapon for triple jabs. The third challenge. Here we go. We will drink potions, have prayers on. It's going to be a great time. All right, what are we up against? Mage attack. And then a range 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 attack. And then a mage attack. And then a range attack. And then a mage attack. Range attack. And 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 a mage attack. And a mage attack. And a mage attack. And a range attack. And a mage attack. Oh yeah. This is how this works. Mage attack. Range attack. Mage attack. More mage attacks, more mage attacks. There's a range attack. We're dead. <laughs> yeah, like that, except correct or something. Just need to get when to pray. That's the important part. This could take a few attempts. After surviving long enough to take out the first jet, it wasn't too bad. The healers were definitely a process. The AoE attacks of the Guardian helped a little bit at least. So, here we go. We could count the number of failures we did. It was some. I guess we could count based on potion doses. When I'm banked once. Like what? Five times? 458. New personal best. Elite task complete. And we get 900 total. Thanks. We failed, 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 and then won. Well, five times? Five tries? That's not too bad. Unfortunately, that would mean five times through the Inferno to get to there with even more nerves. So that's not happening. But triple jabs completed. Very good. 35 million range XP. Did a Dust Devils task. Throw in all the Chin Champas. Had a few left over that I used during a Necreal task. Then finished using those. Then some mage came and killed me. So I came back and killed them. And then got the Web Weaver. Finished that task. Killed some dragons. 35 million range XP. 200 points. I got one final thing to do over here at spindle not venomatus spindle because it is faster going for the kill count and with any luck the ring and also strength xp that's a little bit further away ideally ring and kill count but what we did get is the Fangs of Venonatus. Not what we need. And more Fangs of Venonatus. Yeah. Dragon two-handed sword. Another dragon two-handed sword. We just go through all the drops, getting duplicates, leading to the ring. That's fine with me. There's the Void Waker gem. Mm-hmm. Dragon pickaxe. Not a duplicate gem, though. We've ruined that. And back to the dragon two-handed swords. I just like making a pile of stuff. Which one of these things was a ring, though? There's the dupe gem. Pickaxe next? Mm hmm. Getting a lot of drops. Very quick kills. That helps. Nope. There's another dragon two-handed sword. That's four of those in this inventory. <laughs> 300 Venonatus. And by that we mean 151 Venonatus and 149 Spindle. To nobody's surprise, we did not get the ring. Just, just all these other things. Because, of course. 
So that now means we need another last thing that we're doing. Didn't get a visage, unsurprisingly. Well, there is 50 million strength XP. Still do have defense, but that is 15 million more XP. And that is not happening right now. If we look at all the skills, they are all very, very much at the milestones. 50, 50, 13, hit points technically above. 13, 50, 13, 50, 13, 13, 13 50, 50, 50, 13. 26, because we did a little bit more Slayer. 35, 28, because of magic. 25, 50, 50, 25, 25, 13, 50, 35, 35. Very much breakpoints and all that. Anyways, that was task number 800. And I'd say that is a good place to leave it off. There is still things we could do. Things I wouldn't be mad to do. But we're definitely reaching towards the end here. There's only so much left as we continue to get closer and closer to the bottom of the barrel tax, tasks wise. It's been quite the thing. Quite the thing. Let's see if we can get to where we're going to be ending it off here. Wait, wait. Head over that way. Yeah, 800 tasks. If there was more time, or if I had more skill, could have definitely went for the Fang some more. But honestly, the Leaf Blade and Battle Axe, Ursine Chain Mace, and Void Waker really did carry us pretty well. And the Battle Axe was already better than the Whip, so we got good stuff. Good enough. Overall, our choices for areas and relics, definitely suboptimal. For a lot of things. Melee works where it works and absolutely does not where it does not. But that's okay. Overall, we got a whole pile of stuff. We got almost an entirely filled bank plus some extra clue stuff in the house. Second dragon pickaxes. More void waker pieces, all this stuff. The, the bank kind of became a mess at the end because it doesn't matter. All sorts of gear from all sorts of places. All sorts of cool stuff. The herbs and potions tab, which I could pick up the potions I needed, even though it's in a giant mess now, it's fine. Various skilling stuff that we didn't have enough to get next milestones with. All the extra pure essence that we didn't end up needing to get from when we went to Soul Wars. But we did get the pet from there, so I'd say it was still worth it. <laughs> that ended up being the only pet that we got this league. Definitely could have went for the Chaos Elemental if I hadn't already gotten a boss pet. Here's a bunch of the clue stuff. Got some Gilded. Nothing super crazy. No third age. Didn't do huge numbers of the higher level clues, so that's not too surprising. Here's the pets from previous leagues. And a little creator. Very cool. And then other junk and stuff in this tab. Very cool. Very good. Overall, I'd call it a success. Definitely got Dragon Tier. And only, only got that because of the changes. To make it threshold based incentive percentage. Technically we also got the top 1% but only because everybody else stopped when they got to dragon rank. So, we got an extra 6,000 points, 6,060, pretty good. And last, last, last thing we'll do is exchange fire capes, a oh, fire cape here. I'd like to bargain for the giant pet. Yes, not lucky. How about this one? Nope. How about this one? Nope. And how about this one? Nope. Lots of shame. 
did get the Jad pet. One kill count. I think on this account. On the actual game. I guess we might see that when we pop back over. And here is the system update. It's over. We did not have much wiggle room here in the end. And realistically, with the tasks we have left, there is not really time to try to get anything else done. So that is the end of the league. Could go see if there's piles of people somewhere. Presumably there would be. Probably the grand exchange. Not wielding a cape anymore. What what cape can we wear? Let we pop over there. How about the team cape? Zero. That's pretty snazzy. Want want to look our best for the end of the league here. I'm gonna go to the Grand Exchange. Globe Tower Pendant. Good time. Fire Seal. Good time. Just everything's been a good time. Switch to whichever world has the most. Maybe a special one for this or something. 400? Good bit. I think there was some kind of end of the league event, but that was earlier. So everybody's, anybody's here? Yep, yeah, here's everybody. Everybody got their dragon trophies. <laughs> everybody's got their dragon trophies, let's be honest here. But yeah. Couldn't get, couldn't get the max cape, even though we could get the max cape. Overall, very success successful. Very cool. But we will look over the ending information and the rewards when we get back. Yep. There is the one kill count jad pad here. <laughs> look at him go. Anyways, league stuff. Rewards and trophies right here. But first... Let us check out the high scores. Total rank, we were 6,242. Plenty of people maxed. Best skill rank was Hunter, 245th. We got an extra 21,000 over 50 mil, so whatever that's worth. Worst rank was Thieving. Because of all the people that could AFK thieving and never fail. League points wise, rank 1,224. So that's pretty good. For comparison, at least 421,000 accounts were made for leagues. A lot of them didn't really get far, but for what that counts for. So 1% would have been the top 4,000. But still, again, most people would have gotten more if Dragon was still 1%, so we can say we did our best. Other very good ranks here, 374th at Chaos Fanatic because of going a bit dry, and overall, not too bad. 53,000th at Obor because we got the Hill Giant Club in the first five kills for the combat achievements. 8,000th at Vorkath. Yeah. 496th at RDO. Overall, pretty cool. Let's get back to getting our rewards. Total league points we've ever gotten is 174,850, which seems like a lot because it is. Claim our trophies. I'll live to dragon. Let's take all of them right now. Previously, we've only gotten rune in the last three. Really, we should have only gotten rune this time, but again, static thresholds. Bronze cup, iron cup, steel cup, mythical cup, adamant cup, rune cup, dragon cup. And it's got a a little fiery emote, which is pretty appropriate because of the rewards for this one. Trade leagues. Here's all the previous rewards, which we've pretty much gotten all of them. So if we have bonus points, that'll just be good for later. We'll take a league's banner and a teleport scroll 
and the death scroll and the alchemy scroll we'll take the vengeance scroll and the rejuvenation pool ornament a blowpipe kit a bulwark kit and the relic hunter tier 3 technically we could buy the other th two levels of the relic hunter I don't really need to. I just be an all fancy. It's not a staff or stick or anything this time. It's a torch. Very fiery. There's a big old banner. Also very fiery. We don't have a blowpipe or a bulwark. We can't cast vengeance. But we can reuse some of the other ones. Like the trailblazer scroll here. Unlock it. And now we got even more options on the home teleport here. Animation. Default room fest with one, two, three. I haven't done speedy. Here's four. So we can use that home teleport here. Lots of these animations are the ones that were used in the league. So we got fiery, fiery teleport here. Really matches with the Jad pet being all fiery. So here we are. We've also got the Death Scroll, which is the fiery, fiery death from the League. We got the Alchemy, which is a little bit more, a little fiery Alk. Very fun. And all of these are switchable if we feel like it. We got the Rejuvenation Pool here. Pop over there. And also. Put some stuff in the house. Currently have the frozen pool. We use the scroll on here. Nothing should happen. Remove the decorations. Can we be done in building mode? Of course I can. We got the pool here. Do 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 do. Building mode. Pick up the pet. Keep that on. Build mode. Remove decorations. We can always change it as we want. But we can put the scroll on here. And that way it is made of fire instead of tasty juice. I'm sure all the crazy things we put in here would burn. So that's appropriate. Let's see. What do we got in here? We can remove some trophies. This is the Shattered Relics Trophy. We got Trailblazer Rune. And this is going to be Twisted. But twisted here. Shattered here. And the Dragon Trailblazer 2 right here. Appropriate. What else do we want to put? We've got the twisted outfit here trailblazer rug trailblazer, trailblazer globe shattered banner we're running out of places to store all of our different things the, the dragon trophy can be what we're showing for that one we are out of spaces to put more trophies here and we just have the big old trophy case store all the rest of these I guess this is just store. You click on here to store. Wild. Okay. So that's pretty good. Well, there you go. Leagues four. For next league, hoping for something just absolutely crazy. As much as Trailblazer is a simple and reasonable league, I want something that's just absolutely wild. Be being stronger and faster at things is all well and good. Let's see if we can mix it up next time. I don't know. We will see. But in the meantime, I've got a whole bunch of RuneScape 3, Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man, The Quest Through Time videos to go edit, including everything that I got up, got up to while Leagues was going here. It has been a lot. But that will be 
Well, that can leave very soon. Next league could be a year, could be more. We will see. Later. Probably. Goodbye.